Now, most of us have at least a very vague picture of how a bottle factory produces bottles or how a TV company produces TV programmes. But I bet almost none of us have a picture of how mathematicians produce their output. Theorems. Except there is a new book that throws light on the process. It's called Birth of a Theorem. And it's from someone who really knows how it's done. Appreciating a theorem in mathematics is like watching an episode of Colombo. The line of reasoning by which the detective solves the mystery is more important than the identity of the murderer. My name is Cédric Villani. I was awarded the Fields Medal for my work in mathematical physics, in particular nonlinear Landau damping. That's the behavior of damped electric waves in plasma, but that's not important right now. What concerns me is the process, the experience of arriving at a new theorem. To me, it is a quest, a violent struggle. A mathematical proof is important not only to prove that something happens, but also to understand why it happens. The journey towards a theory is an unlit path. A mathematician is a blind man in a dark room, searching for a black cat that isn't there. In this quest, you are erring among huge obstacles with the help of a trusted collaborator. You fight and never surrender. In the end, a crack of light shows you the way and in one wondrous moment you emerge into a bright field of dazzling daylight in which everything seems to fit together as if by magic. The famous French mathematician André Veil likened that moment of revelation to sexual pleasure except that this feeling may last for hours at a time, even for days. What a lovely advert for maths. Well, Cedric Villani joins me now. Thank you very much. The book is quite a difficult read because there's a lot of the formula in it, but you can skip those bits, can't you, and just read the text? Don't, don't skip them, but just <laughs> admire them and let yourself flow through the uh, flow of the equations. Yeah, I mean, what comes out in terms of discovering a theorem? I mean, the first thing that comes out is, that, although you get the credit for it, it, actually, it's quite collaborative, isn't it? Because really, you're emailing the whole time. It's a very collaborative process, and that's one of the things that surprises readers most. It's a, it's a game of two collaborators here, but also there are many interactions with the rest of the community. Discussions, sandboarding, and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how do you work out who gets all the credit at the end of the day, given that so many hands have been on it in the, in the process? Well, there <laughs> are the people who publish the result, of course, but then there's a, a whole you know, process by which the community designs who's the leader, who's there. It's like right. a team, you know, even though it's collaborative work in a, a sports team, there is a leader. Now, I mean, what came out of the video and also comes out of the book is that you're quite emotionally involved in it. It's not... I mean, obviously, it is a very intellectual process because there are hours of grind of just sitting down and working stuff through and it's... It's not just flashes of inspiration, there's work, right? I mean, yes, yes, that's so emotional and uh, it's kind of a paradox, you know, there is this rational thinking you have to produce as a mathematician, theorem being something completely soundproof, completely rigorous, but it's done by human beings like us, who are kind of irrational, very emotional and uh, very passionate about it. Yeah, so you, you go to the cheese shop and then you, you work some more, all these things are described in the book. Uh, what was also quite interesting is the climax. Now, I think most people would think you're basically you're trying to prove something, that you reach the end and you say, done it, you know. <laughs> but it's not quite like that. Page 126, I kind of think, oh, he's done it. And then, well, there's a little moment of doubt afterwards and there's a bit more work. It's, it's, a, it's a bit more complicated. It's a process, not an event. It's very complicated and it's a chaotic process in which you spend a lot of time erring, thinking you're right, then no checking, rechecking, a lot of mistakes in the process. That's one thing already in school it's important to make people understand, children understand when you are doing mathematics you make mistakes. Even the best mathematicians in the world make a lot of mistakes before they get it right. Yeah. Um, I also was interested, there's a process, there's a point in the book where having done it you kind of have that anti-climax. We saw the comparison to to sex in the, in, in the book, but actually you get a bit depressed. I mean, there, there's a sort of 
a down phase afterwards. Right. So it's very human, right? We all know after a phase of adrenaline, after some big thing we manage, some big project, there is a phase which is down, something in which mm. you're not quite satisfied after all. And you think, OK, I did it, but where's the merit in this? Anybody could have done this, maybe, you know? And then you have to go again. Mm. Where does the theorem come from? I mean, you, you're... Ah. You're proving something, so you must have thought about it before you set out to prove it. And Whose idea is the thing that you're proving? And that's precisely where it's not clear, you know. You think you have an idea how to prove it, but in reality, no. In this book, you know, which is like a journey, like the gestation of a, a new theorem, the first chapter is what are we going to work on? Already that is a question that is tremendously important and tricky. And it's all like chance. We are discussing the two of us as my collaborator, former student, as myself, and we are mixing ideas and something comes that is not quite my thinking, not quite his thinking, but the mixture of the two. And then we're on for uh, an adventure of more than two years, mm -hmm. fighting with the beast, with methods that we have no idea of at the beginning. Now you see, it's very interesting that I haven't actually asked you the most obvious question, yeah. which is, what is the theorem? But oh. I think that's probably the least interesting question I will ask you. But tell us, I should ask you, what is the theorem? Yes, uh, and <laughs> although that's not the main uh, focus of the book, uh, obviously, yes. Uh, the main theorem is some theorem about mathematical physics in which you're trying to explain phenomena from the physical world with the mathematics. It's about plasmas, which is a state of matter in which electrons have been separated from the nuclei uh, through the electrical conditions, for instance. Plasmas are very useful in the industry and uh, so on. And uh, we are working on this phenomenon according to which a plasma which is disturbed may go back to rest spontaneously uh, with a paradoxical phenomenon called Landau damping. And we are working to explain it in the mathematical Landau world dumping. and understand the question that only always obsesses mathematicians, why? Cedric Villani, the book is, is, is very beautifully produced and it's also being read on Radio 4 this week as well. But thank you very much for coming in. My thank pleasure. You.